Hiya, welcome. Today, I'm really excited to tell you about a brand new block we have in the latest release of Microbit. So this is a fun one. It is in the music section. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have this play sound sound effect block. I'm gonna bring it into my workspace. And if you click this little plus button here, you'll see that a couple parameters pop up. I'm gonna hold on to that just a second and I'm gonna jump into the sound editor. Here we've got our sound editor and we have a sound gallery. You can start by going through the gallery and getting an idea for some of the sounds that are available. Let's start with a laser sound. So I've brought the laser sound into my editor and I'm gonna click play. And that's great, but maybe we want a different laser sound. Well, we could come down here and generate a similar sound. Or we can edit this ourselves. So if we want the sound to start out a little higher or a little lower, we can modify this here. If we want it to end a little higher or lower, we can modify this here. or we can make the sound last a little longer. Great. We can make it louder or quieter. We can make it start quieter and get loud. And we can change the waveform. So here it's in a square. You can make it a sine wave. Sawtooth. Triangle. Or noise. Huh. I'm going to move it back to a square waveform. And you can give it a vibrato. Tremolo. Or a warble. And then the interpolation is how quickly it goes between each pitch or frequency. There we go. Now we have our own custom sound. If we close out of here, we'll see that our frequencies transferred over to these boxes. And if you click plus, you'll see that the volume transferred over to these boxes too. From here, if you want, you can change the values right from the parameters. Fun. Now that you know how this block works, let's do something amazing with it. I'm gonna come and grab a forever block and put my beat in there. Okay, that's a little intense. I'm gonna go ahead and stop things while I'm working. I wanna play with the frequency, the start frequency and end frequency of the sound. And I'm gonna do it based on the micro bit itself. So some of the things you can use are, say we want to change the start frequency based on the acceleration. And then we want to change the end frequency based on the compass head. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. Well, not too exciting when we just let it go, but what does it sound like when we move our micro bit around? Okay, that was really interesting, but let's change this bass sound a little bit. Let's make it a sine wave form. Let's put the effect as none, and let's change the volume a little. And now let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Mesmerizing. Okay, now it's your turn. Hop into the new version of Microbit, go into the music category, play around with the music editor, and then don't forget to download it to your version two Microbit when you're done. Happy coding.